Okay, welcome back, Cash Awards Martech TV. Today we're talking about Cash Awards, why we do what we do. It's really important that our community and also our advertisers, our partners, our agencies and the press understand what our DNA is all about. So hopefully this gives a little flavour of what we do and why we do it. Everything about what Cash Awards do is giving back. Not only do we give back by a cash back on everything you buy online, we also give back in many different ways into the community. We do a thing called Pledge, which will go in deeper. We also give back in terms of our advertisers. We make meaningful one-to-one -one personalized communications. We deliver extremely effective results. And we also do it at a really cost-effective way. Our ROAS is extremely high. We'll go into that. So we really want to give back 360 degrees in everything we do. And Andrew Clark, our founder, has that ethos in his DNA and that's what, that's what drives me passionately. These are some of our values to support and grow. And it's really important. Not only do we want to nurture the relationship we have with our community so that we can educate them on how to make their best savings on all the things they buy from groceries, fuel, travel, etc. But we also want to support and grow our team by giving them new levels of intelligence. I believe if we're not learning something new every day, then we're going backwards as humans and as a race. We have some amazing stories from some of our team in terms of TA and how we brought him into this uh, marketing mix and educated him on how to do effective marketing online, something he's very new to. We go above and beyond and we use the picture of Elon Musk because we feel that Elon Musk is doing something positive to affect the change in the human race. And we believe that we should be doing something positive in the same way. And the way we go about going above and beyond with our community is quite interesting. Whilst ad block is very prevalent and third party cookies are not 100% reliable, we make the promise or the guarantee to our community if they make a click from Cash Awards they have an invoice from the sales, from the advertiser or the retailer or the store and it doesn't track for some reason, we will pay that person the cash back. We believe it's in the best interest of the community to action on this. So we go above and beyond. We really strive to make sure we have the most meaningful relationships with our advertisers as well in terms of sharing insights. We think big. We have extremely aggressive growth targets. We're hungry and we're in a rush to get there. We want to get to 2 million members by the end of 2018. You know, that's a 10x growth to where we are today. We have clearly big aspirations to innovate. We are releasing new products and features all the time for our community to benefit from. And we're innovating in a way for our advertisers to benefit. So we're building solutions like Google AdWords within Cash Awards so our advertisers can bid on keywords within search. And clearly, search is a three times more, it's three times more effective at converting our customers than just browsing alone. So watch out for some of the innovation. We're gonna drive in store later and do cash back in store, driving online to offline. We are very big believers in say it as it is. We believe in candid communication. We don't believe in fuzzy metrics and also pretty pictures. We believe in delivering real results for our brands, our community. We want to be able to call it out and we challenge all of our community and our advertisers to do the same. So this is how we are delivering value. What's clear to note here that there are over 700,000 Australian families or homes at risk for mortgage default right now. The cost of living in Australia is very expensive. It is over-indexing proportional to salary. So actually the community that we power, which is over 250,000 strong, 
clearly that's over 1% of the population, we help them with their everyday purchases on fuel by giving them 5% off or giving them cash back on groceries of over 5%. And if you consider that an average family is spending between 20 and $30,000 a year on food alone, that's a significant saving. That saving can help realize you know, a new computer for a kid's education or could actually realize you know, a, a dream holiday for that family where they might not have been able to afford it. They certainly also be able to give back in terms of alcohol as well, which you know, is an important part of the social fabric of Australia. Let's not kid ourselves. So this is how we're delivering value and this is what's meaningful to us. Let's go and see what we're actually doing. So this picture is $100 bills in a pile. This is $1 million. Doesn't seem very big, does it? We have given back over $17 million and I think it just ticked over to $18 million so far since we've been live. And that's, whilst it seems like a small amount per capita or per our member, it is a very significant amount. This pile of money is $100 million. This $400 million is the amount of sales our community drove in the last year alone. That represents nearly 2% of all online retail, according to the NAB Retail Index, which is about $20 billion. That's a significant amount of money, and our advertisers are benefiting from that. And when you look, our community on average spends over $150 per order, and they purchase at an extremely high frequency and recency of 1.6 times per month. What is awesome though is they rate our services higher than Spotify and Apple and we'll show you deeper on that. And again we're in, we use Trustpilot for, promote, for reviews and here's an example, save me money, that's all that matters and that's clearly what we're about. This diagram represents net promoter score and what that really means is our ability to be viral. Let me explain. We ask everyone in our community to rate us on a scale of 0 to 10. We ask the question, how likely are you to recommend cash awards to a friend, a colleague or a family member? With 10 being extremely unlikely, oh, sorry, 0 being extremely unlikely, excuse me, 10 being very likely. And what this shows us is the calculation, and it's a scale of minus 100 to plus 100, is that 9 and 10s are the only people that are likely to share that with a friend and family. I mean, consider yourself, if you vote something a 6 out of 10, you're not that likely to tell your parents that that service or offering was a 6 out of 10. I had a 6 out of 10 experience today at Spotify. Uh, it was awesome. You know, so the calculation looks at these people as a percentage and then minuses these people, not to six as detractors, and eights and sevens are passive. So certain companies do extremely well in net promoter score. Tesla, which is owned by Elon Musk, has an extremely high net promoter score. It barely does any advertising. Elon Musk is the advert for this company because everything he does is in his DNA represents Tesla. Amazon have an incredibly high net promoter score. Their customer service is probably and most outstanding on the planet and this company is doing amazing things for their community and they have a net promoter score of 69. Tiffany, this really traditional and luxury company has a great relationship with its customers and is considered very high value. It has a net promoter score of 51. So this is us, Cash Awards, what's our net promoter score? And we're proud to say it's 59, it's higher than Spotify, it's one below Zappos who have the most incredible delivering awesomeness type attitude towards customer service. We've grown this 20% year on year, and we expect to grow it again because we're doing more. And this relies on our networks 
and our advertisers to do things like speed up the frequency of validation, speed up the frequency of tracking, speed up the reliability of the tracking, move from third party to first party cookies, and also deal with our tickets in a very mature way, i.e. pay them out in a very quick manner. I mean, these are real customers. These are customers that the brands themselves want to have relationships with. This is how it's worked out for a big marketplace like Rakuten. So they have a net promoter score of one. Whilst they have a lot of passives and very few detractors, that shows that the likelihood for Rakuten Marketplace to go viral is not that high. Another part of our giving back DNA is pledge 1%. Now, we are great admirers of the philosophy of Salesforce.com and what Mark Bernihoff has done there. And he built Pledge 1%. And 1% means we give 1% of our product, 1% of our equity, and 1% of our time to a meaningful good cause. We want social good in our DNA. We want to bleed community and giving back. So right now, we are pledging to Starlight Foundation, 1% equity. We are pledging 1% of our product to Starlight. Previously, we've pre pledged 1% of our product to NBCF and Pink.org. And now we're gonna spend 1% of our time pledging to Starlight Foundation as well. And that means for two days of the year, we're lucky enough to go into the field and help raise money for great causes to have wishes for children, to make some Kids with unfortunate circumstances have a more meaningful life and change their world. And they've been hearing some fantastic things, so you'll hear a lot more about our relationship with Pledge 1% and the Starlight Foundation. And as a result of what we're doing, we're being recognized internationally by companies like Deloitte and the Tech Fast 50. We won that last year with a growth of over 12,000%. We're the fastest growing tech company in Australia and we're the fastest growing since 2004. And we're held aside some great luminaries like Vino Mofo, or the small company that is Alassian, or Canva, or Invato, and Zero. These are great companies, and we're really proud of these accolades, but it's nothing as important as how we're recognized in the media so that we can tell our story to our prospective new community, because obviously we want to grow. So this is really meaningful. We also talk a lot, of, lot about our competitors, and we, can, we call them frenemies, and we think they are Coles Flybys, Virgin Velocity, and Qantas Frequent Flyer. And what this really shows us is that we're delivering significantly more traffic than them currently, but also we know for a fact that we're doing at least two or three times more sales and revenue than these businesses. Now what's going on here? Because Coles Flybys has 10 million customers, Virgin Velocity has 7 million members and Qantas Frequent Flyer has 10 million. So why does Cash Awards with 250,000 members deliver extremely more sales revenue and more traffic than these businesses? And I think I've got the answer. Did anyone see this article about a lady, Elizabeth Knight, who spent $3,500 at Coles and only managed to get $10 in rewards? And this is part of the problem. These reward points companies with their big marketing budgets are playing a psychological game with their consumers. They're offering not a lot of value. And I want to try and compare the value they offer to the value we offer. And that's right. We're going to show you that how we're offering over 21 times more value per dollar spent than Coles Flybys or Qantas Frequent Fly. So we did an, an example. We looked at the cost of a flight on Qantas from Sydney to Melbourne. And this was a Webjet departed on the 31st of March. It was $168 for a single. So we put that in there. We're looking at Coles Flybys, Virgin Velocity, Qantas Loyalty, and Woolworths Rewards. So in order for our members to accrue this much, on average, we give 6% back. We clearly need to spend about $2,500. With Coles, that number goes to $33,000. With Virgin Velocity, $13,000.
with Qantas, $25,000, and with Woolworths and Worlds, $33,000. So you can see that we're delivering extremely more greater value to our members than the members of Coles. And that's why there's such huge disengagement with these loyalty companies. Not only that, if you shop with your Qantas Frequent Flyer cards through Cash Rewards and use that to purchase, because remember the purchase takes place on the retail side, you can get your Frequent Flyer points and you can get your cash back. This is a no-brainer for Australian public. Let's flip it and look at the value we deliver for advertisers. This represents $1 billion. This represents the digital ad spend in Australia, according to the IAB last year, around about six to seven billion dollars. Now let's look at how that pie is cut up. This in red is what goes straight to Google. This in blue is what goes straight to Facebook. So what's left for the whole of programmatic display and affiliates is this one billion dollars this is the amount that goes to affiliates about a hundred million in the performance marketing so programmatic displays usually made up of the rest somewhere between 600 and 700 million dollars what's actually interesting here and what's going on is this is how much cash rewards are taking out of the ecosystem but what we think is happening here clearly when we compare it to the uk is that Google and Facebook are taking the majority share and we believe that's stifling innovation. And what's actually happening is the rest is getting spent on programmatic in Australia. This doesn't happen so much in the UK. What's happening in the UK is that affiliates or performance marketing is the best baseline because it's a cost of sale expense. You don't pay for sales or marketing until after the customer's bought something and it cooled off. So in the UK, Affiliate or performance represents almost 10% of the market. It is the second line item in the creative or the digital strategy. So that means when the money's cut up at a brand level, quarterly or annually, Google will take the lion's share, and then in the UK, affiliates would take a large proportion. Then it'll be Facebook, and then programmatic display. And I'll show you why that thinking is clear in my mind, but why does that not occur here? And us as a business is starting to charge more media fees so we can push message directly to one-to-one. -to -one. We need to take some of this programmatic spend and invest it into the cash rewards and the affiliate channel in order for it to grow because we're delivering value, remember? So this is how it works. This is our marketplace. We have some very clever technology here. It's extremely expensive to power this technology. We have a marketplace full of consumers here, hundreds of thousands of them. And we have a value exchange where we allow brands and retailers to have a one-to-one -one dialogue with these people. And what they do is they use their ad dollars to invest in these people, our community, and that ticks them over the line to make purchases. So that's how the cashback is funded. We're diverting the ad dollars away from programmatic, away from Facebook and Google, back into the back pockets of humans, of Australian citizens, making meaningful relationships with them. So we offer a marketplace where consumers interact directly with brands in a value exchange around purchase intent, not eyeballs and ad impressions that potentially I see as irrelevant or even switching consumers off. Some of the data coming out of the press at the moment is saying that out of all the new media digital spend, Facebook are taking close to, and Google are taking close to 80% of the share. Now this stifles innovation, like I said, because everyone else is scrabbling around for that 20%. They can't afford to invest in technology, in clever technology, in solving human problems. You know, so clearly what's happening is this guy's getting extremely rich. He's building out his own trust funds. You know, he's probably going to be a future president of, of the United States. He's an extremely clever guy. But what he's doing is he's paying his shareholders huge dividends. And that's his value exchange.
This guy, Larry Page, originally had a ethos of do no evil. I'm not sure that really stacks up no more. They are clearly innovators, and I'm very, you know, very amazed at how quality this company is. But I'm not sure what they do to put back into the ecosystem as much as cash rewards do. I know that they do Google grants, and that's a fundamentally awesome thing. But let's just talk about that a little bit more. They certainly don't help out the Australian government through paying tax like cash rewards do, or lots of other advertisers have to. So they're not creating revenue streams for the government to help underprivileged community members to get back on their feet. And I think that's taking out of the ecosystem. Not only that, a good friend of mine, Christian Bartons, who's the co-founder, who's the founder of Datalicious, has just done this analysis and has found that over a hundred million dollars of ad budget is wasted every year on fraud. And the key thing is there, that hundred million represents the whole of the performance marketing share of the pie right now. That's just going straight down the drain. And I can go into much deeper levels around this, but let's just talk about how ad fraud happens. So, you can do pixel stuffing. So you can create an ad impression for them one by one pixel, and you can have thousands of them being called at the same time, and each of them is a, a, considered an ad impression, and each of them is considered a cost. And therefore, you can stuff pixels into the corner of pages and make extreme amounts of money when no one really sees the ads. Illegal bots. So up to 40% of all computers in the world have some kind of bot installed in them. It's highly sophisticated. And in fact, the sophistication in ad fraud is unbelievable. Because remember, it's a bloodless crime. No one gets hurt here in terms of physical pain. And when ad fraud happens, all that happens is advertiser budget gets wasted. You know, media agencies are complicit in this because they get paid on a percentage of ad spend. So illegal bots can install ad injection. They can use AI to spoof machine learning in how the cursor moves across the page to fool the monitoring or the ad for people that these are really humans. So these things can happen. Then there's domain spoofing. Ad stacking is where ads are layered on top of each other, all on the same place on the page, just like ad blocking, but the opposite, ad stacking, in order to generate multiple, multiple, multiple calls, generate money. And again, this is just a small example of ad fraud. So did you see those, those two things there? Let's just go back a second. This, according to the IAB, is considered an ad impression for Forever New. IAB say if a third of an advert is on the screen for one second, that's an ad impression. So let's do it again. Brand Recall, eBay, Forever New. Two ad impressions. That's not value. That's extortion. So now we've done another comparison table where we look at cash rewards versus programmatic display and app nexus versus Facebook versus double clicks, Google Ad Exchange, and then Google AdWords. Remember, let's take brand keywords and just have generics in there because that really skews the data. We're looking at return on ad spend. And again, we're seeing that on average with cash rewards, we're at between 10 and $20 return. With App Nexus, you're lucky, and this is net, so this is paid after cancellations, it's usually 60 days after the cooling off period, so 90 days after the sale. This is gross, one to four dollars. This is prepaid, so if you don't pay, then no ads show. Doesn't include cancellations and chargebacks by the community or the user. It's considered to be 50% viewable, and maybe around 15% of it is ad fraud. The conversion rates are only 0.1%. There's a very low relevancy to users, i.e. there's millions of ads, little engagement, little click-through, and it's not even measured on a click, it's measured on a view. You know, when we clearly compare that, we're 100% viewable, all of our ads are people, remember? That's our community. There's 0% bot traffic, because we have, don't have ad servers, we have 
members. We convers conversion rates between 20 and 80% because we're clearly cashback is a thing that tips our community over the line. And we are highly relevant, that's why we convert at that rate, and we use a click measurement. So these are real people engaging with real live links. Facebook, similar to AppNexus in its ROAS, similar to AppNexus in its cancellations, its prepaid, its viewability, slightly better conver conversion, 1%, but the same low relevancy and user experience. Google Ad Exchange, very similar, a poor return on investment, it's prepaid, Incl doesn't include cancellation, so this is gross, 50% viewable, 0.1% if you're lucky in conversion rate from this. And then AdWords, what an awesome tool, I love this tool. Take brand out of it, and I've delivered $50 million a year of AdWords for agencies and brands alike. You're lucky to get between $1 spent and $4 return, maybe $7 return if you're hyper, hyper targeted and hyper optimized. It's prepaid again, so if you don't pay, you won't show an ad. There's no cancellations. And again, this is 100% viewable, but there's still bot traffic in here, between 7 and 14%. Conversion rates are higher at 3%. And of course, it is relevant, search, don't get me wrong, and it's a very click measurement metric. So finally, when we look at all the IAB data and the NAB retail index data, and we do a simple calculation of the $20 billion in revenue in online retail and divide that by the IAB, $6 billion, we get around a $5 return on ad spend, remember? Remember that ad spend is not profit. You know, that's not factoring in your profit margins at all. With cash rewards, it's upwards of $30. Now, in the UK, this is three to four times more cost effective. Media in Australia is probably one of the most ineffective in the English speaking worlds I've ever experienced. And that means it's twice as ineffective per capita as in the US. And it's more ineffective than in Canada as well. And maybe later I'll share some more of that data. And that's really it. Hopefully you can see why we do what we do and next time, we'll start talking about how we go about doing it and delivering this value for advertisers. So I thought, hopefully you found that really insightful. Please feel free to add some comments and questions. Thanks so much. That was Cash Awards, MarTech TV.